OMG, what? Follow E. OMG, who? Follow E. OMG, yeah, follow E. Who that be? Hell, that be me. Follow E. What's up? OMG, follow E. Gang, 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 gang. What's going on out there in YouTube? Where are today, baby? Well, today, y'all, it is the 4th of July. And I'm trying to get some stuff together that I should have did last night. But unfortunately, I did not do it last night. So I had to get up early this morning and get started. So I want to thank all the mothers, the fathers, aunties, grandparents, anybody that's taking care of kids. I want to tell y'all, y'all already know how I feel about you. I adore you. I appreciate you. And I thank you so much for all that you do okay y'all we in the kitchen today and we're gonna do some southern style potato salad okay you might not like the way i do mine i might not like the way you do yours but i'm gonna show you how i do mine so we're gonna get started i'm not wasting time because i have so 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 much to do so we're gonna get started over here and i already have peeled my potatoes as you can see, let me bring y'all down because y'all don't need to pay attention to me. Y'all need to pay attention to the food. Okay, so I have already done my potatoes and they're right here. So we're going to cut them up. We're just going to cut these up. I'm going to split them down the middle like this. And then I'm just going to make some nice, like even hunks so they can cook evenly. Okay. We're not going to waste too much time on this. I already have the water boiling. And I will put just a little bit of salt in my water. Not a lot because you're going to use a little bit of this here. Doing this for taste later. But we can salt our water. And I will advise you to put the water on first. And put it on high and get it good and hot first. Okay. We also going to need some eggs. And I got some eggs right here. And um, we're going to deal with that last because we're going to put that on last. Let's just knock this out and get it in on the stove and get it ready, okay? I'm going to tell you all the ingredients you need once we put it on, on the stove. Okay, just some nice little chunks, nothing big. Try to make them uniform as much as possible so they can cook evenly and cook fast. That's what you want. And y'all will be surprised. You get three big, nice sized potatoes and how it really makes so much sweet potato. I mean, not sweet potato, but so much potato salad. And since it's just two of us in here, we don't need much. So let's go ahead and put the potatoes. Let's do a thumbnail. Okay, y'all, I'm not wearing this outfit because I'm not going to get any barbecue smell in my Auburn clothes. Unless it's some old Auburn clothes that I don't wear out anymore. So we're going to put all these potatoes in here. And right now I have it on the high heat because I want it to go ahead and cook. So it is on the high heat for right now. But once it starts boiling, I'm just going to turn it down and let it cook at um probably mid six so it'll take about 30 minutes at the most okay i don't want my eggs to bust as i put them in the um pot so i'm gonna say we're gonna need at least a good six to seven eggs okay so i got my pot right here turn y'all around let y'all see what i'm doing i'm just gonna place this in here and let them roll off of this so that way they won't bust okay so that's three eggs right there I'm gonna do at least a good seven to make sure it covers everything. Cause eggs is important. It's very important to this in dish. Start your water off on high. You don't have to cook your eggs fast at all, okay? But start your water off on high and once it start boiling, turn the water down to medium. It won't take it long. Eggs about eight minutes at the most. And if you start it out on high, it'll be ready a little bit after the, well, before the potatoes. Okay. So 
we just gonna get these to a boil and once they get to a boil i'll bring it bring y'all back okay and we're gonna assemble this together okay i'm not gonna leave a spot out of here but i'm gonna make this as fast as i can okay because i have other dishes to show you so after these messages i'll be right back Okay, I'm back with the potato salad. Boom. Let's start assembling the potato salad, okay? Right now at this point, we're turning it off, and we are going to just basically drain, strain all this off. I already have my strainer in the sink. Everything clean, good to go. We're just going to strain the water off. That's it. We're going to strain the water off. Okay. Just get all the water out of here. How y'all doing today, y'all? How are y'all doing today? And then we're going to take it and bring it in this bowl and drop it off. Okay. That's all we're going to do. All right. For now. So now that we have this going the way we want it to do, go... Y'all don't pay attention to me. Pay attention to the food. We're going to add the bell peppers and the onion. Why it's hot? Because guess what? It helps it caramelize. Okay, so we're going to do about three good helpers like we did with the um, baked beans. Okay? So we're going to get that kind of mixed up in there. Make sure we got enough. Yeah, we got enough. That's enough. So it's basically going to cook. This right here, honey. It's going to cook the bell peppers and the onions while it's like this, okay? Let me make sure I don't need to add a little bit more. And trust me, it won't be crunchy. It won't. It will not be. Because you can let it sit and cool for about two to three minutes if you want to, okay? But it doesn't matter because you're not going to taste the crunchy. Okay. There we go. Then we're going to add... Dice pimentos. Y'all see that? Dice pimentos. You don't have to use a lot of this if you don't want to. And in fact, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. However, I like it. Okay. Alrighty. And I don't use a lot. One. Two good helpings is enough. And what else I'm going to add is I'm going to add my sweet relish. Some people like the pickles. I don't. I prefer the relish. Let me mix this up and see what we looking like. Okay, I'm put one more scoop of relish in mine. Because I like my pickle taste. Okay. At this point, we're going to add a little bit of salt. Not too much. You don't want to overdo it. And we're going to add our pepper. That's all you're going to need as far as seasoning is salt and pepper. Okay. And right here is a good time to taste to see if you want to add any more um, salt and pepper once you mix it up really, really well. A little more salt. Pepper is fine. Just a little more salt. Okay, let me see. Okay, we're perfect on the salt and the pepper. All right, now we're going to need some mayo. You can use any mayo you want. I'm using this today because this is what I have. When they didn't have what I wanted. I had to get the second to 
to the one I care for. I really don't care for it, but this one, but I know it's going to have a distinct taste that I'm looking for. Let me get a spoon. Now this is where you want to be careful. You do not want to add too much mayo into this in the beginning because you don't want it to be over mayo-ish, okay? So I did regular spoon and I did about three good spoonfuls and it'll let me know where I stand from here. Okay, that's good. Good amount of mayo, I, that was even. Because sometimes you might have to go and add another potato, okay? When you make it too mayo-ish. And some people like mayo like that. All right. And I done put my mustard up. Hold on, y'all. Let me go get my mustard. Maybe I will do editing on this or not, but who cares? Pack this up to get ready to go. And I forgot I needed it. Okay. Put a little mustard up in here to give it the color of the potato salad that it needs. Okay. Okay, a little bit more. We're done. We're basically done. Let me taste one more time. But once it um Okay, that's perfect. No salt, no nothing. And as I said, the bell pepper and the onion are caramelized. So you really don't taste like crunchy onion and crunchy bell pepper as long as you put it in first right after it come off the stove okay so we're gonna assemble this by moving it into this hemp pan gonna lay it all down we got to add our eggs. Now, some people add their eggs on the inside. Erica don't. But you are more than welcome to add yours on the inside, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to get a tin pan like this here. Let me bring y'all up so y'all can see me. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do the pan. And we might not need all the eggs, but who cares? We might, we might not. We're going to pour the water off of the eggs. Okay. Y'all, I'm picking these up with my hands, so please don't do what I do. I'm kind of like used to this a little bit, <laughs> but don't do what I do. Please, because they are superly, duperly hot. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just going to take this here. And I don't want it to come everywhere. I'm just going to use this for a top. This is all I'm going to I'm going to let them beat themselves in for Okay, I just didn't want that to pop everywhere. 
All right. Don't pay that no attention because we in the kitchen. And when we in the kitchen, anything can happen, okay? Anything. So, of course, it slides right on out when you do it like that. Woo! But don't think it ain't hot while you're doing this. Don't think it ain't, ain't hot, okay? And sometimes I have to get up under this. Whoa! You know what I'm saying? Let me get over here and start acting like I'm just that hard. Because I'm not. Because this is just that hot. But it's easier to peel this way. Woo! Hot, 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 hot. And then plus you get the excess other stuff out of here. Because I like to rinse and make sure no extra shells are on here anyway. But it's easy to peel. Woo! Hot, hot, hot. If I can get that stored, honey, that's all I be looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Y'all, y'all can do y'all y'all way. I do my mine. It works for me. It works real well. I get burnt a little bit here and there, but not much. Now, I don't know about this last one because it looked like it did not want to crunch up real good. Oh, it did. Okay. All righty. Oh, gotta rinse you real well. Okay. All right, y'all. So, now we're coming to an end to finish this up. Let me see. Can I get y'all up higher so y'all can pay attention? There you go. So, let me get me a knife. Uh-oh. Got a little shell must have had on my finger. Let me rinse my fingers. Because we cannot crunch on anything, baby. Unless it's something to crunch on, okay? So, I'm just going to take this. And I'm going to line up eggs all or line around this thing, okay? This is how I do mine. You do not have to do yours the way I do mine. But this is the way I choose to do mine, okay? And if it don't fit, we don't worry about it, honey. We'll make some extra space and space it out. And they don't have to be that tightly close together. If you don't want to, you leave a little space. This egg, him was retarded. I'm not going to lie about that. It don't have to be perfect because guess what? When it go down in your belly, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be all scrambled up. Believe that. You know, everybody would like a little egg with theirs, so I just try to go ahead and do mine where you can get a bite of egg with every scoop that you have. Now, that's me. You don't have to do what I do. Oh, I, I did real good on the count of the egg. Everybody's going to have a space up in the place. Right there. I got one more so I can fill in some gaps. Try to make it look pretty if you can. Sometimes it don't cut right. We don't worry about that because it's all going to go in one and come out the other. Okay, please believe me. Okay, now that that's done, the potato salad, all we got to do is get cold. But before we go, we got to decorate this thing. You know it. And what we're going to decorate it with? Smoke paprika. Smoke.
All right. There you go. Let's do a thumbnail for this one. Okay. Here we go. Okay. There you go. I would like y'all to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, comment down below. If y'all have any comments, please leave it in the comment. i answer any question that you have. And I want y'all to make sure that y'all come back following OMG, what? Follow E, OMG, who? Follow E, OMG, yeah, follow E. Who that be? Hell, that be me. Follow E, peace, boom.